Our goals for the upcoming season are to compete very well in our non-conference schedule. We have a very difficult slate of non-conference teams ahead of us, as usual. And so we want to try to win as many of those matches as we can and put ourselves in a good position to be regionally ranked this season. We played a tough schedule last year and unfortunately did not win many of those matches, so we want to try to translate better success this year. In conference, we want to be back in the hunt for the conference title. We've made conference playoffs eight seasons in a row. We've won two conference titles, and now we want to try to add a third. Expectations for the upcoming season. The players did a lot of really great work in the offseason, both uh, mentally, physically, academically. They really tried to figure out ways to be really good teammates to each other and to be um, the best volleyball players that they can be, the best students they can be. So I think that all of that work is going to translate into a much more cohesive group. Um, and I think that we're going to focus on having as much fun as we can this season um, and matching that with a high level of success. Our senior class is going to be a very big part of our success this year. We have seven seniors, and a lot of those girls have been on the floor since they were freshmen. Uh, I'll start with Rachel Umberger. Rachel's a right side. She's very dynamic. She's very difficult to block. She's developed a lot of really great shots in the offseason, developed her entire game. Uh, so she'll be one of our right side hitters this year. Uh, Mary Len Weaver will be competing for the libero spot. She really worked hard on building up her strength over this, the off season, and she's a very great leader both on and off the court. Ellie Ezekiel, who was a first team all-conference performer last year, she's had just a great 2015 season, and we're excited to see what she does in 2016. Paris Zambis, who's another player who will compete at the libero DS position, very fiery player, very competitive, very vocal on the court. Um, we have senior Emily Gerard, who will be one of our other right sides this season. Emily has been injured for most of the last two seasons, so we're really excited to get her back. We have Sarah Landry. She'll be competing for one of the outside hitter spots. And then we also have Allison Edelstein, who was our primary setter last year. Um, she really came into preseason in great shape, and she seems ready to run the offense, and we're excited to see what she can do. Um, some of our juniors will also be playing important roles. Cassie Garrison was one of our starting middles last year. And then um, we also have junior Shea Murphy, who will be another competitor for the libero DS position. And then we have Danny Skelly, who will be in the hunt for the second setting position. We had three players graduate in 2016, and all three had a very big impact on the program over the last four years. Uh, Kelsey Mahenko, who was a middle, she was a starter for three years, very high energy player, very skilled, very dynamic at the net. Um, so we're just going to miss not only her positive energy on the bench and on the court, but just her skill level and her court IQ. Katie Foreman, who was a utility player for us, she played every position in the front row at one point during her career. So she played outside, right side, and middle. So we're going to miss her versatility. We're going to miss her competitiveness and the spark that she provided for our team when she was on the court. And then Alyssa Sanchez, who was our libero for four years, graduated as number two on our career digs list. So we're going to miss her leadership. She's just such a steady player. Um, so we're, we're going to miss that about her very much. But I, I think that the girls who are uh, filling in behind her were taught very well by Alyssa, and they're looking forward to competing for that spot. We're excited about this freshman class. I think that it is a great class both in terms of personality uh, all four girls seem very team oriented. They're a lot of fun. And so we're looking forward to seeing their personalities come out a little bit. But on the court, they're giving us some depth at positions that we need depth at. So I'll start with Grace Polisano, who is an outside hitter. Uh, she'll be you know, one of three people competing for two spots. Uh, Grace is a lot of fun to coach. She's very high energy. She's very skilled and she learns fast. And so I think that she's going to be someone who sees some court time this year. Uh, Christine Yu, who is a middle hitter, is just lightning fast. She's very dynamic, very quick, and she's somebody who I could see having a very big impact in our conference this season. Um, and then our other two freshmen are Natalie Weaver and Sarah Mirza, and they will give us some depth at the middle hitter position. Preseason has been going pretty well. Our first day, was a little, we were a little rusty skill-wise, but the girls did very well. They came in with a very high level of fitness. And as the days have gone on, they've just been building and getting better and better, shaking that rust off a little bit. And we're going, we had a scrimmage last week, and it was a really great learning opportunity for the girls um, to kind of figure out how the dynamic of the team is going to work on the court. 
and uh, we're looking forward to our first game, which is going to be on Friday, September 2nd. We have a lot of key matchups that we're looking forward to this year. Our non-conference schedule is going to be very tough. We have a lot of really great teams coming to play at Franklin and Marshall the weekend of September 16th and 17th. We're hosting a tournament that weekend. So we have teams like Carnegie Mellon, Ohio Northern, Stevenson is coming, Ithaca, Eastern University. We're not necessarily going to get to play all of those teams, but all of those teams will be in our gym. So it's going to be a really fun weekend of competitive volleyball. So we're looking forward to that. And then in our conference schedule, pretty much every match is important. So each match is weighed with the same level of importance. You know, whether the team finished last in the conference last year or first, every single team is competitive. So our girls know that regardless of who we're playing, we have to bring our A game every single time.